Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new version of the Microsoft Edge web browser for desktop, version 107. And this latest release, Microsoft started rolling out on the 27th of October 2022. Now I see that um, with Edge version 107, Microsoft has finally listed the sidebar as an official feature update. And as I have posted previously over the last couple of months, the sidebar has been on a controlled rollout and phased staggered rollout since Edge version 103 and is now an official feature update in version 107. Now over and above the sidebar, um, there's not really too many other front-facing features to actually mention. Everything else, basically all the other updates are basically taking place behind the scenes and under the hood, so to speak. And over and above the sidebar, we get 11 new policies, one deprecated policy, one obsoleted policy, and then those all important Chromium security updates um, for the Chromium platform that have rolled out that the browser is based on. Now, if this is the first time you are seeing the sidebar, um, you can always do a search on the channel, as I have covered this in detail in numerous videos. But just to do a very quick recap, um, if this is the first time you are seeing the sidebar. Now, um, the sidebar gives you access to quick action buttons, which um, let you access productivity tools side by side in the side panel with your main browser window. So here we get tools, um, dictionary, internet speed test, you can get access to your Microsoft Office in the side panel, your Outlook, Gmail, Search, Discover, Games, just to mention some other examples. You can customize the sidebar uh, in the side panel. You can turn off different buttons and quick actions to uh, customize that to your own personal choice and preference. If we scroll down, you will see you have access here to some extra social media platforms like Deezer, Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon Music, Instagram, WhatsApp, Gmail. And then I have noticed one new upgrade though to the side panel and the sidebar after upgrading to version 107 that was not there previously. And that's that you can add the current page now. Now just to demonstrate, um, in case you're unaware how you add a current page, if I just open up any random web page, you'll see as soon as that opens, add current page goes live. And if I click on that, it now adds that current page as a quick action button to the sidebar. And if I click on that, it opens up that um, site I've added manually in the site panel alongside my main browser window as mentioned. Now, there are a couple of options and settings that are only available to websites you have added manually um, in the site panel. This does not apply to other um, quick action buttons like search or discover or tools. Um, these settings I'm going to mention now only apply to sites you have added manually. And that's that you can pin and unpin those sites. If you click on the three dotted menu, um, a site you have added manually will open up in the mobile view by default. You can show desktop view and you can copy link. And when it's in mobile view, as far as I can remember, you can disable touch mode if you are using a touchscreen device. So to change it to desktop view, you will see the layout changes more to that of a desktop. And if we head back, show mobile view, which is the default layout, it changes that layout more to a mobile platform. So that's just a quick update on the side um, bar in the side panel and adding a website manually. And if you'd like to hide the side bar, you can just head down to this little toggle. And if you want to enable it again, you can just head to the menu and show side bar. And there we go. Now, just to finish off this quick recap, an update regarding the sidebar. If we head to the settings menu appearance and we scroll down, yeah, you can actually toggle off the sidebar completely and you can also turn off notifications. So as an example, um, your email um, side, uh, sidebar buttons and quick actions will send you notifications and your shopping as an example. So if you want to disable notifications, if you don't want the distraction, you can just toggle off those notifications from the appearance page. So that's the um, sidebar in a quick recap just in a nutshell just to keep you up to speed now and um, because um, we also have those all important security updates that have rolled out it's important to double check that your browser is up to date so just head to your menu help and feedback about Microsoft Edge and the latest version and build now is 107.0.1418.24 now the Chromium security fixes that have rolled out to Edge are more or less the same that have rolled out to Google Chrome earlier this week. And Google Chrome received 14 security fixes. Microsoft Edge 
has received eight. But nonetheless, it's still a very important security update because it does um, address the three, the same three high-risk vulnerabilities that I did post on with the Google Chrome update. And those three high-risk vulnerabilities, um, um, as you know, um, as I have mentioned previously, high-risk vulnerabilities are your second highest after a critical. So nonetheless, has received eight security fixes addressing eight vulnerabilities, and three of those are high-risk vulnerabilities. So it's important to double check your browser is up to date. Now, just on a side note, um, after Microsoft did roll out this latest um, release for Microsoft Edge, um, Chrome was updated late yesterday in my region with a important security update addressing a zero-day vulnerability already exploited in the wild. Now, that hasn't rolled out with this update, so we can expect the other Chromium-based web browsers like Edge, Brave, Vivaldi, as an ex just to mention some examples, they will be getting that update, I would say, over the next day or two. So just take note of that. So that's more or less what's new in version 107 of the Edge web browser for desktop. And the sidebar, I would say, would be your key highlight for this update over and above those all important security fixes. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.